Hi, everybody. Welcome back to EA Sports. He's Ray Ferraro. I'm James Sabalski. Well, to almost steal a uh, bullpen analogy from baseball, there's a chance to bring in the closer here tonight. Yeah, you bet. Step over another hurdle, James. Get to the next series as fast as you can. Setters both set to dig on in, and we are about ready to go. You can feel the intensity of this one. Total playoff atmosphere. We're underway. Chicago's on the attack. Excellent stick work on the play. Here's the shot. Tremendous read and even greater sacrifice on the block. Timmons setting up against the wall. Jabs the puck away. The Wolves have it now. Moves it to Bishop. Oh, and he tracks it perfectly in the offensive end. Manages to hang on. And a poke check knocks the puck away. The Eagles gain possession in their own end. And he's tripped up on the play. Referee's hand goes up here. And here's the official call as play is whistled dead. So often in a, in a shifty little play that you're trying to get to the puck, you get your stick in the wrong spot, it steps on your stick, and there's nothing you can do. And the man advantage unit comes out to go to work. Well, James, statistically, we know that you score the first goal of the game, you're going to win well over 55% of the time. So that first goal is critical. Now you've got a great chance because you're on the power play. The Wolves move to the offensive zone. McDonald's got it along the boards. To his teammate and puts it anywhere but the way he wanted it to go. You can go games without a chance from here. Comes up with a stop. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. Still no score in this one. Gets a hold of the puck. They'll want to clear the zone here while they're trying to kill off this penalty. Moves it around along the half wall. Quick shot! Stopped by the goaltender. Great defensive effort with the strip. Here's the shot! And that carries off a stick! And the puck skips out of play. Someone gets a souvenir, and we'll get a face-off. Bishops won the draw here in the offensive zone. Man advantages up. Both teams back to even strength. Really aggressive work by the penalty killers. They shut that power play down without any danger. Whiffs on that, and that's broken up. And they send it right back to him. Move to the middle. Let's it go. And he rings the post. Pretty tough to come much closer than that, James. Nobody can score, but the posts aren't helping either. Dismiss that chance. That pass goes a little sideways. And a nice poke check inside the neutral zone. The Eagles get a hold of the puck along the boards. Here he is, shot right in front. He was locked in there. Flashes the leather right in the slot on a difficult chance. Those are the saves that are gifts from the goaltender. That looked like an automatic goal. He's able to make the stop. Nearing the midway mark of the period. We've still got zeros on the board. The frozen biscuits dropped and we are back underway here. The Wolves move it ahead. Here's a chance. Kind of lost control for a second there, but regains possession. Steps into it. That's blocked. Oh, smart heads up play to poke that one away. And the puck skips out of the zone. They'll have to regroup. The Wolves scoop it up along the boards. Chicago's got the puck. Good hit on the play. Sends a pass over. Oh, denies him with the save! I think he got the blocker on it! Oh, he flares up the arm with the blocker. Makes a pretty good save here. The setters will glide into the dot. Chicago's won the draw, and they'll go to work. Moves the puck into the attacking area. Fires one and makes the save. The Wolves will play it in their own end. Slides.
turns the puck over. Nice zone entry from the left. No quarter given here as they battle for the loose puck along the boards. Quick pass to tries. Good defensive effort to poke it away. Taken along the wall by Shore. Chicago's got the puck against the boards. Right to the middle. Here he is from the slot. Big time stick save. I like the way he tracks the puck here. He's got to find it, and then he gets his body right in front of it. That's a good save. Puts it on net. Oh, just wide. You kick yourself in the tail after you miss a chance like this. Has to be on the net. Brilliant save. Read it perfectly. These are positional saves. This is a good scoring chance, and he makes the stop with his stick. Past the midway mark in this period. Still looking for our first goal. Off the draw, he ties up his opponent. And puts it just wide. The goalie was late reacting. If that puck hits the net, I think it's in. A chance with the stop. Colorado's got possession here in their own end. Barron stick handling in his own zone. And now he angles it across to Wagner. Chicago's got the puck along the boards. Takes a shot, and that sails over the net. He's trying to get rid of it as quickly as possible, but that's got to be on target. Sends it in on the attack. The Wolves have it against the wall. Looking for space inside the D zone. The Eagles get a hold of the puck. The Wolves get a hold of it. Cuts into the paint. Stopped by the goaltender. This is a quality chance that the goaltender turns aside right from the slot. The centermen glide into position. The Wolves take possession off the faceoff. Sends the pass over. Chicago's got it along the wall. Pinned up along the boards. The Wolves gain possession along the wall. The Eagles work it through center. Grabs the puck at center. The Eagles looking against the half wall. And just out of arm's reach on the play. Here in the late going of the frame, still scoreless in this one. They take possession as he locks them up off the faceoff. Oh, break out the ice packs. He lays out to block that shot. Ow! And he can't hang on after that hit. Here's a short pass to McDonald. Moving into the attacking zone. Pokes it away in his own end. Along the wing, up the neutral zone. The Wolves take it along the wall. Denied by the goaltender. Here's a shot. Denies him again. The Eagles will play it from the defensive zone. Into the attacking area from the left side. And the puck leaves the zone going back to center ice. Nice poke check. A little dipsy doodle and he loses possession of the puck. There are times you try to do too much. He's got good hands, but maybe a more simple play is the right one there. Oh, and he can thank his stick for that one. Timmons brings it in. They've got numbers. A little crashing and banging forces the turnover. Takes the feed. And that goes off course wide. No, he's got to get that on target. That's a scoring chance, and he doesn't even make a, the goaltender make a save. Puck possession so critical. Another face-off coming up here. Shores won the draw here in the neutral zone. The Wolves played along the boards. Quick feed to Forsling. And that shot dies in traffic. Oh, at the buzzer, a big save. There's 
the horn bringing period number one to an end. Still no score in this one. If you want to show us your accuracy, register now for our Shoot to Win contest where one lucky fan will shoot a puck from center ice. And as both teams head to the respective rooms, two more periods still to come. We're looking forward to it here on EA Sports. Well, the first 20 is in the books. Let's see what this second period offers. No goals yet through the first 20 minutes. Let's see if this changes here in period number two as we get underway. Well, we've got over 20 minutes played thus far. Ray, how have you seen things? Man, that was slow, James. That first period, nobody generated any offense. Just a few shots to test the goaltenders. Picked up along the wall by Salamaki. From the left side, it moves to the middle of the ice. Shot, makes the save. Lots of time left in this period. The game is still scoreless. Tries has won the draw. Nice pass. The Wolves move the puck in the defensive zone. Excellent stick work on the play. Chicago's got the puck in the corner. And they can't convert to the play. And that one's broken up. Great block there. Into the offensive zone. Good defensive stop with the poke check. Centering pass. Gives them nothing in front. He's sharp on that one. Nowhere to go for the puck. That's going to rattle your molars around there. That is an enormous hit that he took. Play set to resume with the face-off ready to go. The Wolves win it in the defensive zone. Battle along the boards. Lorenz plays it now. Takes the pass. The Wolves carry it along the wall. Good heads-up play in the defensive zone. Takes the feed. The Eagles play it along the wing. Stones him in front. Yeah, he's a sharp save, James. Right in the middle of the ice, he makes the stop and pushes it away. Colorado's got it in the offensive zone. And too much traffic in front blocks that one. Moves it over to Forsling. Pokes it away to keep the pressure on. A oh, great read on the play. The Wolves grab possession to the puck. With possession along the wall. Loses possession after he takes a little hit. The Eagles take it along the wall. Right on the doorstep. Can't connect. Rocks him on the play. Colorado's got the puck here in the open ice. Puts it up front. Wrist one. Busted up on the play. Now you get in the right spot. Sometimes the thing just hits you. Aaron pass and the play's broken up. Colorado's got the puck against the half wall. Grabs it in his own end. And he regains control of the puck. The Eagles have it behind the cage. There's the physical side. Through center along the wing. Penalty coming up here as the play is stopped. Burroughs is going off for two minutes. Funny, coaches always tell you, get your stick on the puck. And then when you try and the guy trips up, they tell you, get your stick out of there. You kind of stop. And the power play unit takes to the ice their first chance to try to make something happen in this game. I, for one, am a big fan of when the power play gets on the ice. I used to make my living doing this stuff. And it's because you've got time, make sure you find a way to score. Puck slid down the ice. Chicago's got it in their own zone. Sets up from Gretzky's office. Chicago's got the puck along the wall. The Wolves take it across the blue line. Offside the call, and we'll have a face-off just outside the blue line. 
More than half the period left to play. We're still scoreless. Face off here in the neutral zone, and we are back underway. Takes a wrist shot, denies it in front. Officials getting ready to drop the puck. Puck possession so key in today's game. The Wolves will go to work here in the offensive zone. And a good use of the body to knock the puck loose. Here's a clearing attempt from their own end. Both teams back to even strength as the power play comes up empty-handed and we are still tied. These are the power plays that drive coaches crazy. They didn't really generate anything. They didn't force the penalty killers at all. Kind of a waste of time. Nice zone entry from the middle. Keeps hold of the puck. Puts it on net. Wide of the net. The Wolves gain control of the puck against the wall. Colorado's got control of it now here in the offensive end. And that's picked off in front. Skates across the blue line. What a steal in his own end. Tries to feed it over to Dickinson. Here's a shot with the stop. More than half the period has expired. Still no score in this one. The Eagles take possession off the faceoff. Handles the puck. Gets in front of it. Nice job tying up his opponent. Chicago's moving it up the ice. Big play inside the defensive zone. Dickinson's got it against the boards. Oh, and a miss. Right from there, you got to get it on the net. He just spun quickly and missed the net. Chicago's gained possession along the boards. Colorado's got possession at center. Slides the puck to Wagner. Oh, we got a tripping penalty coming up here. The officials were all over that. Here comes the call. Wagner's going to the box for tripping. I guess it's a little bit of bad luck, James. I mean, he's reaching for the puck. He's in position to try and keep the play moving, but he trips him up. The Wolves once again send out their power play unit. You got to have a short memory on a power play. You haven't scored yet tonight, but that can't matter on this one. Get the puck back to the point. Start moving it around and get people converging at the net. Chicago's got it behind the net. Here they come. Good reach for the stick to knock the puck away. Makes a move in front. Oh, bold move by the goaltender as he pokes it away. And they get the puck out of harm's way. Chicago's got it from behind the net. The Wolves take it across the line. Here's a shot, turns it away. We often talk about a goalie's reflexes. You've got to have quick hands to make a glove stop like that. Well, what a quick reflex stop that is. Great scoring chance. Getting into the later stages of this period, we've still got zeros on the board. Good read by the winger as the two setters tie up. The man advantage is over. That power play was a lot of window dressing. They had the puck in the offensive zone, but really didn't generate a whole lot. The penalty killers must be pretty happy with that. Takes a shot. Oh, and he completely blew it on that miss. Yeah, you got to get it on the net, James. You've got an opportunity to score, and you don't even test the goalie. Fails to find the open man. Colorado's got a hold of it against the wall. Couldn't connect on that pass. Can't keep a hold of it after that hit. Centering pass and makes the save. The setters will glide into the dot. Slides in off the wing after the centerman tied him up. Colorado's got it in the neutral zone. Second period nearly into its final minute here. Right in front, stopped by the goaltender. The most fun save for the goaltender, the glove stop.
And a good read to get possession there with the two centermen tangled up. Chicago's got control of the puck. Burroughs takes it across the line. Strong defensive effort. Passes right to the front. How did he stop that one? In tight, he had to make an excellent save. He had to be on top of his game to make that stop. That's a great scoring chance, and he turns it aside. Colorado's got it, and they're on the attack. Big save. And as the second period comes to an end, what can you say? This has been all about the goalies tonight. Still scoreless. Don't miss the chance to see the greatest talents in the world when they visit our city. See the official arena website for details on up. Third period just around the corner. Ray and I will be ready to bring all the action in moments. Welcome back, everyone. He's Ray. I'm James. Third period action ready to go. It's been a tight affair to this point. Third period is now underway. And he's ridden off the puck. Timmons has it in the defensive end. Scrum along the boards as they battle for the puck. Timmons takes it behind the net. The Wolves scoop it up along the boards. Couldn't connect, although not exactly an ideal pass to begin with. Almost lost the puck, but hangs on here as play continues. Big time save with the blocker. The Wolves have it against the wall. Here they come up along the wing. The Eagles have a hold of it in the defensive zone. Denies them. Big stop by the keeper. Oh, what a close save. No time to take a breath. He made that first stop, and then the puck turns around on him again. That's a dangerous scoring chance, but the goaltender makes a great save as he's able to snuff it out. Lots of time left in this period. Still looking for our first goal. Off the draw, and a nice job locking up his opponent. Sherwood's moving the puck through his own zone. Here's an odd man rush. The Wolves take possession in the defensive end. And they'll be forced to regroup after the puck bounces out of the offensive zone. Settles things down and gets control of it once again. Moves it quickly over to Sherwood. Scrum along the boards. And some good footwork to kick it away. Taken by Anderson. Gains the zone from the right. The Eagles get a hold of the puck along the boards. McDonald's got it in the defensive end. Oh, he'd like to have that pass back. Made the stop on the play. Dead center. Excellent save. On the attack along the boards. Moves the puck. From the left side, they enter the offensive zone. And couldn't find the intended receiver on that one. I think it's a chance for a breather here as he hangs on and covers the puck up. Who, for the players or for you? Well, you know, I won't complain. I wanted another look at this one. I'm sure you guys were all impressed as I was. What a save by the goalie. We haven't even hit the midway mark of the period. Still scoreless in this one. Takes possession of the puck off the draw. Colorado's got it in their own zone. Oh, he'll feel that one. Right in the slot. Makes it look easy with the glove. Oh, sometimes you think you've got lots of room to make a move. Not fair. He got closed down and hammered. What a hit. The centermen glide into position. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Colorado's looking to break out. Jabs the puck away. Maintains possession. Along the boards, they battle for the puck. Nice poke check inside the attacking zone. The Wolves move it in. And a poke check knocks the puck away. 
looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Colorado's got a hold of it along the wall. Coughs up possession of the puck. The Eagles have it now. Gains the zone through center. Chicago's got the puck along the boards. Sends the cross ice pass. He almost lost it for a second there, but regains control of the puck. The Eagles gain possession along the wall. Puts a little mustard on the hit to knock the puck loose. Forsling's got it along the wing. Moves it to Thompson. And the traffic jam in front blocks the shot. Oh, smart heads up play to poke that one away. Looks like we got a penalty coming up here. Turn that chance aside. And the play is whistled dead. Let's see what the call is coming up. The Eagles will serve two for holding. He's going to see this on the big board once he sits down. He'll see this as a penalty. The Wolves send their man advantage unit out once more. Easiest thing in the world, James. Tell somebody else to relax. The power play hasn't scored yet. They're not relaxed, and it's not easy to do, but that's the key to success. Colorado's got the puck here in the open ice. Takes a shot, and a great save. Chicago's got the puck along the wall. Went for the dirty dangle, and it goes sideways. Gilbert's going to play it against the half wall. And that one's broken up. The Eagles will kill off a few extra seconds now. Receives the pass. And we've got a two-on-one. The Eagles are back to even strength here. It's pretty hard to have a more low-intensity power play than that. They really didn't generate a thing, and when you don't generate much, you're sure not going to score. The Wolves gain control of the puck against the wall. Gaining momentum along the wing. Good defensive effort to poke it away. Gains the zone through the middle. Stays with it. Long reach breaks up the momentum. From his own end, he moves it up ahead. Sharp breakout pass there. Looking to make something happen along the boards. And pokes the puck loose inside the offensive end. Colorado's gained possession along the boards. Scoops up the puck now. Sends a pass over. Pokes it away in his own end. Slides the puck over. And he makes the save. Slides the puck ahead to Wagner. Colorado's in now. Chicago's got a hold of it against the wall. Pokes it away to stay on the attack. Shores taking it from his own end. From the right wing, he moves it to the middle. Nice poke check. Colorado's playing it through the neutral zone. Along the half wall with the puck. From behind his own net. Good battle along the boards for the puck. Trying to get back on the attack now. Forces the turnover. And that one's broken up by a great defensive play. And the puck's kicked free. The Wolves scoop it up along the boards. Comes up with the stop. I think he got a blocker on that one. Wow, he's dialed in right now. That is an enormous save at this time of the game. A critical draw here. The Eagles win the draw. Chicago's got possession here in the neutral zone. Excellent stick work on the play. Salamaki's got it in the offensive zone. No one home on that play. The Wolves are in transition. Here they are on the attack. Shot! Too many bodies in the way. Colorado's in transition. Scooped up along the wall by tries. Moves the puck along the half wall. Takes the feet at the back end. Tries plays it against the boards. Good defensive stop with the poke check. Quick pass to Tries. Oh, what a save on the one-timer! 28 seconds to go. Sends the pass over. Misses the net. 
not going to be happy with this. He's got the opportunity to score. Doesn't register a shot on goal. Grabbed along the board by Salamaki. Great poke check on the reach. The Wolves are on the attack. Centering pass! And that's broken up. Regulation time comes to an end. That means we've got some overtime coming up. It's time for our hamburger bonanza. If the home team scores in the next two We'll minutes, take a quick break. A OT next. Of our arena. Will someone get a chance to put the game on their stick? Overtime looms. Overtime is underway here. The Wolves have it against the wall. Great use of the body to knock him off the puck. Bishop's got it on the offensive end. Takes the feed. Stopped by the goaltender. Nice move by the goalie to get out close to the shooter. Great reflexes, another save. The Wolves get a hold of the puck along the boards. A chance for the win! Picked up along the boards by Tries. Nice pass. Puck scooped up by Bishop. Handles the pass at center. Tries to the crease. Big stop by the goaltender. Huge desperation play. They go on the attack from the left side. A chance in front! Stopped by the goaltender. Sometimes you're in close, there's no room to put it anywhere. The goalie smothered it all. He's lucky this isn't a court of law. He'd be going to jail for that robbery. A lot on the line here in this offensive zone faceoff. Buck has dropped and we are back underway. The Wolves take it along the wing. They've got the defense outnumbered. And now it's grabbed by Forsling. Takes the pass. Blocked in front. Colorado's got a hold of the puck. Now he takes it over the line. And a stick in the lane ends that threat. And he loses control of the puck. Grabs control of it at the point. Chicago's got a hold of it along the wall. Centering pass, looking to end it, and that's broken up. Now yeah, puck doesn't get to the net. Good positioning by the defender. They've got numbers. It's a two-on-one. They gain the offensive zone from the middle. He's got the game on a stick. Nothing doing. That plan didn't work. Here's an offensive chance. Takes a shot. Again, the denial by the goaltender. After the first stop, he's in good position to make a second. Now we'll get another look at this. That's a good shot, but the goalies get the blocker up to make the save. This is a face-off. They'll definitely want to win here inside the offensive zone. The Eagles take possession off the face-off. Anderson's got the puck in his own zone. Under a minute left in overtime. Up along the wing. And someone's going off here as the ref's hand goes high in the air. And the puck stopper tags his man to get the extra attacker on the ice. And that's blocked. Here in the corner, he grabs the puck. Stones him on the one-timer. And there's the whistle stopping the play. Let's see what the officials are calling. Anderson's going to get two for charging. I didn't like that hit. You can see how he was angry with the way that he was hit. Now his opponent goes to the box for two. Ray, you could see that one coming from a mile away way up here. Easy call. Puck set to drop a little four on three man advantage, and they'll have plenty of time to work with this one. Trying to dump it out. And that's a big clear at this stage of the game. Yeah, they're all big now. You, that puck's near the blue line. It's got to get out. The Wolves move to the offensive zone. Colorado's penalty killers get a hold of it. Chicago's got the puck. Through center. Look out, a two on one. They'll want to clear the zone here while they're trying to kill off this penalty. And they get some breathing room as the puck leaves the defensive end. Takes the feed from his own end. 
That's a good look. Nice long pass. Chance to win it, and he denies him with a monstrous save here in overtime. Puck possession so critical. Another faceoff coming up here. And momentum on their side as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. because you're trying to be perfect with it. Really good opportunity that he doesn't cash in. And that's time on OT. We'll go to a shootout. We'll take a quick timeout, and the shootout is on its way next. Hey, hockey fans, follow the team all season long on the radio for every minute of play-by-play -play action, both home and away. Or listen to the online simulcast at home or on your smartphone. Neither team given an inch after three periods. Nothing solved after overtime. So here we go. Shootout. Let's go. Number 15, Max McCormick. And he denies them. Really important for the goalie to be solid in the shootout. Tries is up next at center ice here in this shootout. Gives them absolutely nothing on that. It's amazing how many points are alive in a season. The goalie has to be good if you're going to collect some of them. Next shooter for Chicago, number six, Paul Marcus. Advantage goalie on that. Yeah, there's no dice. I, I got a good view of it, and there's just nowhere to shoot the puck. Back half of round number two. We still don't have a goal in this shootout. Let's see if this changes right here. Makes it look easy on the play there, Ray. I think it's harder for the goalie in the shootout than it would be on a breakaway. The really? shooter has so much more time. Well, here we go. Round number three. Still no offense in this one, but let's see if this changes right about now. Second shooter of round number three, and a great opportunity to seal the deal. Gives them absolutely nothing. I think the goalies that are best at this are the ones that are the most efficient. They don't move a whole lot. They just really play their position solidly. Well, he can really break it open here if he can deliver a snipe at this point in time. And he makes it look easy on the play. Just like they do in practice. Stop just what the shooter has to offer. Parents ready to go, and he can win it if he can snipe it right now. Chance to win it, and he comes up short. We'll play on. A chance to lock it all down there, but he doesn't execute his shot. It's been all puck stoppers so far in this shootout. Let's see if this makes the stop. This is letting practice it, right, Ray? Yeah, keep it as uncomplicated as possible, and he makes a good save. Well, they're already up here, and they could win it with a goal right now. Absolutely nothing doing on that. Sometimes you make a move, sometimes you choose to shoot, and there's just nothing there. Well, here's a chance to apply a little bit of pressure as there is still no score in this. Makes the save! Focused in on the puck, gets himself in the center of it, and makes an easy stop. Sherwood's made his way to center ice. He can end it all with a goal here. He scores! And what's the old expression? Winner, winner! Chicken dinner. Great shot. And there's the final horn, bringing this one officially to an end. This series is all evened up, and there's one guy to really credit for this one. He was terrific in goal, gets the shutout. Now, in theory, it doesn't really matter whether you win 7-5 or if you get a shutout. 
but the goaltender feels a heck of a lot better about himself, and now he can push over with confidence into the next game. And that'll do it. For Ray Ferraro, I'm James Sabalski. Thank you.